Hello, welcome back to the Happy Hearts. I'm Neil and the, this is a bit self-indulgent, but I thought this might help you if you are starting your YouTube channel. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a video on my YouTube studio setup. So I thought I'd show you how, how things are looking here in the Happy Hearts, because I've picked up little ideas from here and there from other people's videos. So I was hoping that whoa, sharing how things are going in here might actually be useful if you are um, thinking of upgrading equipment or, or having a setup. I'll just turn this to the side there because that's blasting us. So this this is the current setup. Welcome to the Happy Hut. Here's the, here's the camera I use the most. This is the Sony ZV-1 and I'll put links in the description for all of the bits of equipment that I'm showing. Let me go back to this camera here. By the way, this camera is the DJI Action 2. And I've got a new attachment here. This is the DJI mic, but I'll talk about that in a moment. That's what you're hearing me on now. But let me show you the main setup for my desk videos. I use this Sony ZV-1 or ZV-1 camera, and I don't usually have a port -a prompt attached to it but I've started to use that in the last week or so. So we'll see how that goes. I have a video all about how to set up uh, an auto cue or porter prompt for your, <laughs> for your camera and your YouTube setup. That link is in the description now. This is, this is wonderful. And the way it works is it reflects the, the screen that's below it, which in this case is a, an old mobile phone of mine and I'll show you how that, that setup works in a moment. And this port -a prompt just clips onto the end of my Sony ZV-1 lens. But that lens, if you're familiar with the ZV-1 or ZV-1, you'll know that this doesn't usually come with it. This is a Niwa wide-angled lens. And I don't really need the wide angle in here, but it is really handy for clipping the port -a prompt onto onto the, the body of the camera here. I've got a video in the description. It's playing on screen now where I show you how the Niwa lens works with this Sony camera. It's been absolutely brilliant and I keep it on all the time. There I've got the port -a prompt hood and I've managed to somehow <laughs> finally connect. I can show you what I'm, I'm seeing. I've, I've managed to connect my PC to my port -a prompt there. If I change the, uh, let's, let me get a script up on my PC. So this is something I recorded the other day. So I've written out the script in Google Docs and made it really large fonts, but I've also made the screen size really big on the PC. Then I output, I don't, know, I don't know which camera to look at. <laughs> then I put the, I output the PC on an HDMI cable. Let me show you that. That's the yellow cable here. So I've got the PC going out to the monitor, but also it goes in this cable and it's a bit hidden back here. I might wreck my setup. It took me a while to figure out but I've got the HDMI cable going into video capture card. That link's in the description. It's about $15. It's brilliant. It turns the video signal into a USB feed. That then goes into this adapter. I needed this adapter because it needs to be powered to power the capture card. So I've got a power lead, USB-C power lead, powering that adapter. And then that sends the video signal into my Samsung S8 phone <laughs> oh it's fallen down it's still holding up though and i can see the script on screen i only needed to do one more thing and that was to make the video mirror image and i've used uh, an app on the google play store called i think it's called otg camera i've got it on screen now the reason i have that is that it turns the video feed and it turns it backwards so that when it's reflected in the lens hood of the teleprompter, it reverses it, so it reflects it, so I can now read it 
So you can see that's my script. And I can change the size by just changing it on the PC. Let's double the size. There we go. Oh, look at that. Nice big text to read. And that's made it much easier to deliver long videos to camera because I can have all my notes in my eye line and see what I'm supposed to be saying or, you know, at least not lose my thread in the middle of a sentence. The usual microphone that I use is this. It's the Deity or Deity <laughs> D3 Pro. And it's a shotgun mic, so I'm not I'm sure that you're supposed to be using it this way, but I get it as close as possible using this mic arm. And this is, it's like a podcast or radio studio arm. It's an Inno Gear arm. Again, that link is in the description if you wanted to take a look at that, but it's desk mounted and it's really easy to just angle. I can just pull it over and not make any noise. So I can pull it close. I think that's probably a bit too close or have it out of shot. So you're hearing this microphone right now. And I think it has a really warm, uh, warm voice. It's not cheap, but because this is an older model, this microphone is quite heavily discounted at the moment on Amazon. So if you're looking for a shotgun mic, I can really highly recommend that. And I've got a video all about how it works and its features. That's in the description and on screen as well. I've got this microphone feeding out onto this cable. That cable goes into the camera, the ZV-1 there. And that is how I record my voice these days. But if I am out and about, I now use this. It's the DJI mic. It's a wireless mic. You get two mics in the box and it has absolutely transformed my vlogging and filming because I haven't got a cable now connecting me to the camera. I can go wireless. So let me show you how that works. I've, I'm wearing the mic, one of the microphones here. It looks like this, really small and discreet. I've actually colored in the DJI logo so it wouldn't just show on screen all of the time. And I can tell that the receiver here is receiving this microphone because you can see the green bar going up and down as I speak. So at least I know it's capturing audio. I just clip that microphone to me here. And it's a built-in microphone, but you can plug in uh, a better microphone or a different microphone if you wanted in that socket there. And also this little unit also records audio as well. So if there's a problem with the radio connection between the transmitter and the receiver, this will be recording it. So that has been an absolute video creation lifesaver. I'm still using the DJI Action 2. This is wonderful because it's discreet. And if I'm out filming in public or on the streets or on trains, um, it's tiny. It has really got me out of some filming difficulties. I've even clipped it to my cap while I'm, <laughs> while I'm doing some DIY over on the other channel, The Dad Delivers vlog channel. Let me just show you the, the studio setup. Uh, this is my desk. It's, it's a Skarsta, Ikea Skarsta adjustable standing desk so I can wind it up. Oh, it's going to hit the camera. I was going to demonstrate it, this all standing up. Anyway, you get the gist. I could do this standing up and that's a lot easier sometimes when you're demonstrating something. Also on the desk, um, the Field of Dreams, I've got the, the MacBook that I edit on. And over here, I've got this hub. So I can plug things into my computer just by doing it on the desk without having to go behind the desk and on my hands and knees to <laughs> plug things in or unplug things. I still have to do that. You can see the spaghetti back there. I do need to plug things in now and again, but it's a lot easier having them, easy access to them on the desk. I've got a, a new clock too. So I have a radio clock over there, which is handy because that keeps time. But over here, oh God, this, this clock, I love this clock. It was only uh, 10 pounds on Amazon. I'll put that in the description as well because I just love the look of that. And I've also, just to help me with script writing, I've also got a visual timer as well, which really helps me to uh, stay focused. 
So if I turn this up to say, I don't know, you can turn it up to say 25 minutes and that will count down. I'll be able to see it visually as that countdown goes. So it's very difficult to lose time when you've got this in your eyeline. That has really helped with the editing and the script writing. So that was it. That's my brief whistle stop tour of the Happy Hearts YouTube studio. Is there anything that you would recommend or anything that you want to see me try out here on the channel? Leave a comment below or, or share pictures of your YouTube setup. I'd love to see them. And right here is what YouTube thinks you would love to see next.